Let me pay my respect to obeisance to Almighty. Five hundred years ago, the saint, the very famous saint, is part of the world, Manikavasa, sang a song. Pudangal Thoran and Dayanella, Pokal and Varavala and Ninakuru, Pidangal, part of the Lord Varavala, filter you and the river. So energy is embedded in these uh, five elements. Uh, that's uh, how can be plan? Space, air, fire, water, and the soil. It's somebody plan. This energy is formless, but it can be realized in many ways. There's uh, another seminar going on in the other side of the faculty. I inaugurated uh, half past eight. It's a conservation of things in wildlife and other biological entities. So only thing we know very well, uh, we don't know any other things, uh, is energy is concerned. So transformational energy is the business. As the science advances, engineering advances. Engineering advances, technology advances. And we have all three faculties in our university. I'm a, by chance, of course, I'm a mathematician. So, I've been feeding all these people in their skills about handling because mathematics is the language of science. Some or other we have to quantify in the digitalized, digitalized world. So, in this uh, uh, realm of activities, and also it's a perpetual. When the technology advances, science advances. That's what Radha and say, state of art laboratory is being built. That's a technology. So technology advances, science advances. Whether science advances, engineering advances. It's a perpetual cycle of things. So today, I think many brains are better than one brain. So in those days, Einstein may be working, Feynman may be working, and Nuremberg may be working, but today we have a collaborative research environment. So scientists working with other scientists, engineers now they are creating a table. Uh, then the, the, you know, the uh, nano technology people are standing on the table. Why is Dean is there? And in you know, the mathematical natural science, Dean is there. So this kind of environment is a modern thingy. Not thingy, because as a scientist, we are evolving with this existence. Actually, now we are capturing the nature. Because now our fossil fuel and everything is running out. Even what happened to Ukraine and Russia is causing a lot of problems in Europe. So, actually this embedded energy in this uh, solar and other aspect should be utilized. So now, because of, we are getting the optimization. Because we, we almost saturated even that scale, that uh, understand. Okay, 80% 80 80 efficiency, 20% efficiency, stability is the problem. But we'll have a problem in the 2050, no energy from the conventional sectors. So even for our survival, we may go back to our basics. Where is solar business going to thrive? Even whoever going to deliver these tools, going to be rich again, like our Pfizer is doing well with the, these jets. They become multi millionaires because of this virus. They, they found the, uh, uh, this vaccine and because these people are thriving. Similarly, this uh, clean energy, I know we have reservation. Even nanotechnology people are saying it has not delivered yet. In uh, you know, even our Amateur conference, our Geeti said it's still yet to deliver. But uh, when you go to our history of science, even the transistors came existent in the 1950s. Now it has delivered to the maximum within another 30, 40 years. I think University of Bergen also originated, I checked, in 1947. So this university is now delivering to us, this collaboration. I think the Norway, I want to read out from message, I can go on like this. The people of Norway and the government of Norway have long starting fruitful relations with the people of Sri Lanka. Not with no part project alone, higher education. Because Norway extended big help in the fisheries sector for us to thrive. The Sea Nor project is one of the big projects in the Japna, where the fishermen gears all been built with the Norway's technology 
they came here, it still is running. Even after the war, the revival of our Yatna, this, uh, you know, see now, the ice factories and preservation of uh, the, the fish and the ranch boating, they are helping. So fishery sector, another traditional sector of Norway also. Then the petroleum came, I think I, I studied in Scotland. Only the Norway, uh, North Sea was separating Norway and Scotland. And you both were digging, uh, exploring oil from uh, this North Sea. And then the Norway have invested in the energy education. A lot of migrants come and you have 5 million of people. We have 20 million of people. And I tell you, two of our babies, they are growing on this side and that side, are born in the very adversity environment. That one, migrated to Norway, when the 1983 riots came, then he was an engineering student in the Moratua. He was forced to leave. Then he ended up with another glorified place. Today, he is delivering back to the nation. And this, they are. That, that is uh, actually, so he born out of the adversity. The similarly, this man, another coordinator from our side, he came to university in 1990, where there is no electricity. Not today. Even there was an embargo on the LTT government. And this guy was not, we were not having a grid electricity. We were running again kerosene, kerosene, kerosene lamps and uh, running some uh, two hours genera generator generator electricity. Today he is talking about the renewable energy. It's very appropriate. So actually, even Albert Einstein, he was uh, running away for, from Germany for his life, delivered his uh, nuclear formulas and this uh, electromagnetic relativity theory. He is equal to MC square. Now the nuclear energy feeding the Europe and some of the big countries. So actually scientific discovery of one day may give you the, the actually we are reaping the fruits of what we have done for a long time ago. Similarly what you do here actually is a, it's a, it's something for the human uh, uh, advancement for the future. Of course our grandson and daughters we are doing. We, ne we may not be delivering immediately the fruits but we have to wait because uh, in the COVID time I was eating mangoes in my home that was planted 100 years ago by somebody. So I was sitting there and eating. So today I really want to thank uh, our current solar, the company, and actually uh, Norway government support. Of course, those companies gave free installment of this floating uh, panel in the RVNR campus. RVNR campus is actually originated by LTD and we occupy this now. Because it, somebody originated, but that area was done by them. Even that pond was a uh, man-made pond. We had to acknowledge this. It's a man-made pond. They did it. Now we are generating electricity for like engineering faculty. I see former engineering faculty Dean Atparaja. He, he actually uh, great contribution to the faculty development. Today our engineering team Prabhan is here. And electrical uh, department people are all trained. I think our uh, Thiruvaran is trained in UNSW, where I, I spend my sabbatical, where they have a separate section for photo voltage department. So they are, Australians are doing very well in the solar energy thing because they are countries, the hottest country in the world. They go to 40 degrees, uh, you know, the summertime, the thing. And also now I want to say the University of Japna, we are now leaping our our university, we were suffered 30 years of, you know, unsettled condition in this place. So in the 2010 onwards, we are reviving. So in the revival, now we have established UBL. And our director is here, Dr. Isra Mohan. Our UBL is University Business Link. We are here one who spoke, uh, Dr. Island, is a part of the world one is here. Now, now we are driving for the prototype models and uh, go to business, commercialization. This is the only way for Japna and Tamils for survival because uh, we had mobilized and uh, Dr. Hickner who went there and Bela uh, Amuthi there, there's another people working on the uh, sodium batteries kind of thing. So these, these kind of thing actually will help us to enhance. Today, University of Bergen and the Western University, I always Western mean Western uh, Sydney University, no, Western Norway University of Applied Sciences. Actually, we want to thank you because uh, as I know, Norway has been with us, the people of Sri Lanka, for a long time. 
and also every household in Tamil uh, community knows about Eric Solvang. He's a peace broker. Even Norway is very famous for peace broking around the world. Even IR, I think they did. So many peace uh, conflict, uh, they, uh, there's a conflict resolved in Norway now. I say it's a model country. One of the Scandinavian uh, country actually help us. And also in the bad technology, we lot of collaboration we had Uppsala University in Sweden. So, uh, and this this kind of uh, collaboration actually helped us to have one of the best uh, bad chemistry bad technology division in this reform. Uh, Vice Chancellor was that uh, lady involved in this. So I have been here last 40 years. I am witnessing so many things. Today one of the most glorified day. Uh, I can I can see this is a celebration like a mini Olympics because you see five years project. Then you are going to another five six years. It's a one decade of activities. One decade of activities really will bring uh, fruitful things. That's what the, our dad and also said this professor. Uh, he has been the first important thing uh, for anything is the uh, resource development, human resource development. Without human resource development, you can't borrow. Other things you can borrow. So that is the master program and the doctorate program and all other program will deliver the, the, the important aspects of the C uh, aspects of the another level, then the engineering comes, then the technology comes. So we will be thriving. So wholeheartedly I want to thank all the Norwegian Bergen people and the Western Norway University people and the student welfare. And also as uh, Professor Dayalan said, traveling from Norway to Kalambu, Kalambu to Manna, Manna to Jaffna, Jaffna to Kilnaji, Kilnaji to Mulativ, Mulativ to Kalambu and coming back to Norway. It's like another world, uh, this uh, exploration, this kind of stuff. I think you have the stamina. I, I, I witnessed a lot of people from Norway. They are good at uh, country skiing and country walking and uh, kind of stamina stuff. Norway get so many Olympic medals. Even recently, a lady uh, cross country uh, work, <laughs> work, work she did. So that is uh, uh, the Norway. So you have a stamina and you have a very good uh, uh, commitment to the world. And uh, thank you very much for choosing our Japna and also the and masterminding because you trust the Aaron because he delivered our best product from this country, came there and he proved himself a track record as one of the most outstanding. Then you trusted him and he loved us. So he returned to us and you actually associated with him and we delivering our new generation of academic staff actually wonderfully cooperating as administration of the form of ideas we did and we also going to do. So we have, we have thanked the government of Sri Lanka also granting permission for this uh, very fruitful relationship to uh, be thriving without their approvals and assistance we can't do that. So uh, I think that part also we thank and uh, I really want to pray and uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, that uh, you have a sweet uh, feeling here and also safe return journey. And uh, uh, now I don't want to say what's happening in Sri Lanka now. Uh, in the adversity, uh, uh, people thrive. Some new invention come. Actually, the necessity uh, is the uh, uh, mother of invention. So today, problem also will help us this project to be readily accepted and to get it to another level because uh, uh, that uh, we, uh, the, the demand of the time actually endorses this kind of development. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for patient listening. Thank you.